so I got the same criticism when I was trying to explain why 2200 feet per second is so incredibly important. So now I just let the professionals explain it. This way they can't criticize me, even though I'm repeating what they're saying. They still say I don't know what I'm talking about and I shouldn't quit my day job. Well, the same thing is also happening with carbon fiber barrels and chrome line barrels. So let me explain for a second what exactly I'm talking about with heat distribution. Surfaces which are reflective absorb less heat because the incoming energy is reflected away. It also turns out that the same is true for heat leaving an object. Reflective surfaces try to emit heat but it tends to get reflected back inside the object so it gives off less heat. So non-shiny black surfaces, like asphalt for example, will both absorb more heat and give off more heat. This is why the spectrum of electromagnetic radiation given off by a heated object is called black body radiation, because a perfectly black body will absorb and emit the most electromagnetic radiation. Period. When you talk about heat, it can be transported in three different ways. Conduction, molecules crashing into each other, passing heat from a warm area to a colder area directly through a material. Convection, molecules carrying the energy through a liquid or gas. Radiation, heat being transferred by electromagnetic radiation, light. If two surfaces are in contact with each other, the contact between the two will help determine the ability for heat to transfer through conduction. Rougher surfaces will likely have less contact and transfer heat less effectively. Convection should not be affected much by this. If a surface is particularly rough or smooth, this may affect how much radiative heat it can absorb as well, but this is complicated, and depends on the size scale of the roughness. The type of material, glass, metal, plastic, etc. will also affect each of these. Alright, so that is the rub. That's why, ideally, a chrome line barrel is superior to any other barrel because the inside is shiny. This way it can reflect as much energy down the bore as possible and absorb as little as possible but then the outside of the barrel is a darker color because only the inside is chromium then it goes into a mixture of chromium with other metals so that'll absorb it off of the chromium and that'll distribute it into the air more so you're absorbing less and you're also getting rid of a lot and that is supposed to be what carbon fiber barrels do but it appears Instead of the carbon fiber absorbing the heat off the stainless steel and getting rid of it, this appears to act more like an insulator. So on paper, this would be the ideal barrel. It weighs less, it gets rid of heat quicker, but in practice, it just seems to not work out that way. Anyway, if you'd like to help support my channel, got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.